All right, everyone. Uh, as I can tell from the views and likes on the last 164th Farm Toy video I did, uh, you guys are obviously still really interested in this, and so I'm going to do what I can to keep the ball rolling, even though I'm really busy with school and getting the shop finished right now. I'd like to keep getting you guys what you want, and quite honestly, I haven't done a whole lot of work with these things all summer long, and I missed it. And so now that it's getting cold outside and I'm quitting a little earlier and, and uh, things are kind of wrapping up a little bit with the shop, I'd like to do more with the toys, and so I'm going to try and keep getting you guys video. And uh, we're going to try some new things. First thing you see here is I worked on some hand railing again for the 7800. Uh, pretty much the same thing I did on the other one. It still needs to be painted, but it is glued on. I just make it out of a brass rod, very small brass rod. And I bend it with the pliers until it looks right. And then I have a little side cutter there that I used to cut it. And, uh, and then I glue it on, and then I'll paint it. The other thing I'm working on here is uh, this feed grinder. I was going to turn this into an archway um, because the farm that I'm possibly going to be doing a large-scale display for someday has an archway grinder like this. But uh, I really don't know where to get paint for that, and I don't want to buy like a whole gallon of whatever color green that is. And I know that Ertl makes an archway. And so I might just uh, custom this one up and possibly sell it or uh, just hang on to it. But uh, I've got the diamond tread tires here that I'm working on. Those were a Shapeways product. I forget exactly which store they came from, but if I remember, I'll put it in the description. Um, I want to say it was maybe Harvester 850, but I'd have to double check. But uh, Shapeways is a great, or even any sort of 3D printing is a great, uh, advancement for this stuff uh, you can pretty much get whatever you want made made on a 3d printer and uh, it's really cool that you know all I have to do is draw something up on a computer and I can have it made um, but we're gonna add those wheels to it and then I think I'm gonna try and make some fenders out of brass and then uh, we'll do some other detail painting we'll probably like paint the auger flighting silver you know from having the paint wore off and I haven't decided. I may put a lid on it. Some of the grinders I see have lids on them, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, I'll probably put a lid on it, I guess, if I can make a nicer one. I'll do some other little detail painting, like probably paint the bottom of the spout black, just because most of them have a rubber boot on them. And I think I'm going to try and add like a PTO shaft to it, and probably hydraulic lines. I might even try to make little cylinders for the the different, like the spout and stuff, but we'll see. But that's kind of where I'm at right now, and like I said, I'm not going to have a ton of time to work on this stuff, but uh, I'd like to do what I can to uh, keep the ball rolling and get you guys some video.